In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to plug in the GitHub webhook URL into GitHub so it can start posting events into your DynamoDB table when anything happens in your repository. And that's this post URL right here. But first, there's one problem inside of our tables. You'll notice uh, in the last video, I imported um, everything from another repository. Um, just want to show you guys another quick helper method. Um, so I showed you guys SLS invoke setup. There's also teardown. And teardown will do the exact opposite. It will remove everything from the database. Boom, there we go. And now if I come back here, refresh that, we can see nothing there. Cool. So now that we have a clean slate to work with, I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL. And again, if you don't have that, you can type in SLS info to get it. Uh, inside of your service in the back end folder. And I'm going to go into GitHub, into our scope uh, repo. And let's actually plug this in. So inside of settings and then inside of webhooks, we can click on add new webhook. It's going to ask me to type in my password. Obviously, it's password and I'm going to plug in my URL. So the payload URL is that webhook URL that we've gotten back. And it is application JSON is the type. And this secret is actually the secret that we were using um, in our code uh, in the config. So uh, whatever you use as your GitHub secret here, you're gonna wanna use in that um, spot as well. So copy and paste it out of your config and go back into GitHub and go ahead and paste that in. And then here uh, it's asking us what events do we actually want to send to our listener? Um, you can send everything through, but you're going to invoke your function more than you need to. So let's go ahead and select exactly what we want. So we want to send through issues, issue comments, pull requests, and uh, pull request review. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and uh, add this webhook. So what we can do is that we can actually test that the webhook is working by clicking on it. And if you have this green checkbox next to it, it's working. So that's awesome. So it's working. It pinged our webhook and it's ready to go. So let's actually test it out now. So again, if we look at our DynamoDB table, nothing is in the open items. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's change that. So testing web hook. Hi, submit new issue. So we just submitted that through and if we go ahead and refresh this, boom, there we go. There's our uh, GitHub issue being posted in there. So let's uh, also test that the close is working. So same way, if I close an issue, or label it or do anything here, or if anybody comments on it, it's gonna update that uh, thread. So it looks like our open one is gone and because we closed that issue, it's in the closed database. So everything is set up and working. Um, and if you're trying to debug your uh, webhook, again, go into settings, click in webhooks. And uh, if you click edit on the webhook, Make sure that your, your type is application JSON and make sure that your secret is the same as the secret in the uh, config prod that you're using. This is just the example, but yeah, make sure it's the same string. And um, if uh, for some reason it's not and you need to redeploy, you can uh, do so. So if you wanna change that string at any time, you can. So change me. Uh, but what you're going to need to do is actually uh, redeploy this. So SLS deploy again. And that's going to update the environment variables in your Lambda function that is uh, listening uh, to that Gib GitHub webhook. And yeah. And then uh, if you do want to do further debugging as well, you can uh, click on individual um, uh, webhook posts that GitHub has done and redeliver those. But you should be getting a 200 response if you've followed the instructions thus far. Cool, so that's your GitHub webhook and now your database is set up listening to your given repository.